Hi everyone, this is Carolina here, and today I want to show you how to create um, activities using Jamboard. Uh, first, I just want to give you a little rundown of how to use Jamboard, and then I'm going to show you um, different activities that I created and how to uh, do those. So the first thing you want to do to create a Jamboard is you're going to go to your drive, you're going to press the new, you're going to go to more, and then you're going to press Google Jamboard. And this is what it looks like when you have your new sheet. You know, you can title it. You just press here. I'm going to do this very simple. And then here you have um, these tools here. First thing you have is the option of adding a background. So you could set up a background for your Jamboard. Um, now, these are the options that they give you. Now, you're also able now, this is a new feature, to add your own image which is um, kind of crucial to uh, use for the activities that I'm creating. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, then you have the feature here of the pen. So if you click little arrow here, it gives you options of different pens you can use. So you have the pen, the marker, there's a highlighter. So if you want the kids to read something, you can add the image of what you want them to read. And then you can have them highlight different parts of the reading. Uh, and then there's the brush as well. Now, they're very limited as far as the colors um, here. See, the brush looks a little bit different um, than the pen, as well as the marker and the highlighter. Um, but um, so far, those are the ones. I'm not sure if that's something will change. Um, but that's what these are here. Uh, now, let's say you want to erase some of your what you draw. So you have the eraser tool, which is right here. And then you can also just clear the frame. Now, when you clear the frame, if you inserted a background, that background won't be clear. So just to keep that in mind. And here, just the cursor. And then here's the sticky notes. So the sticky notes we're using a lot, um, you know, for reflection, uh, like, um, you can have kids do like a, a check-in, see how are you feeling today. Um, and all you do is they hit the sticky note. They can pick what color they want to use. There's even a clear one. Um, and then they just press save. Now, if they want to go back to it, you click on it. Here's the two dots where you can edit. So you can go back that way. Or you can double click. And that will take you back to it. And you can move it around. I'll make it bigger, smaller, um, and that way they can put it around the board. Then you have the option of inserting an image. You can insert an image by uploading from your, uh, you know, from your folder. You can uh, browse. So you can take it to the camera, Google Search, Google Drive, and Google Photos. So those are your options for adding an image. Then here you can actually add a shape. Uh, now, I've seen people use this uh, to create like Venn diagrams. Um, if you have an object here and you want to uh, copy it, you can go to the arrows and duplicate that object. Um, or here, if I want to remove it, I would delete it. Or you can con press Control D, and actually, that will also duplicate it. So, this is again stuff that you can do. Here, I'm just deleting it. Um, and then the last one here, you have text. So I can add a text. Sorry, I keep bringing hola, I'm a Spanish teacher. And uh, as far as this, there's a little bit of limitation as far as the colors as well and uh, what you can do with it. Uh, and the font is this font, and you just can change uh, the size this way. And the last one is you have a laser pointer. So if you um, added an image here and you just want to uh, point to specific parts of it, uh, you could do the laser pointer for that. And that is basically it. Now, one more thing is up here. You can, um, if you click that arrow here that was here, you can duplicate the Jamboard. I mean, you can add a slide. Uh, you can also delete it three dots over there or if you go like this it will just create a new blank page now something really important and i feel like um, we forget this a lot <laughs> is when you share it make sure you go to share and make sure that you're changing um the restriction here make sure this is not on the restricted and it says anyone with the link can view or you know within your district 
And depending whether you want kids just to see the uh, Jamboard now, I think the whole point of Jamboard is for kids to collaborate. So when you share with them and you want them to uh, collaborate and work on it, you want to make sure that this is under edit and then you would share this link. Now you can also set it up so it makes copy for each one so they can have their own copy. Um, I do like having the same Jamboard with uh, a lot of the kids in it because that way I can go to each page and just see what they're doing. Um, but again, if you have an activity that requires for them to work individually, definitely have, make sure that they have their own copy. All right, so let me show you what I've been doing with this and uh, some fun activities uh, that I've created. Um, I made like Connect Four activity for my students. Sorry, I realized that's like so. Um, so it's a Star Wars theme, and um, what I'm having them do, and I'll show you my uh, template in a minute, is I've added vocab into the Connect Four. So here's here's an Among Us one. So I've incorporated vocab into. Um, oh no, it's a Star Wars. Sorry. There's an Among Us template I have. Uh, but I added the vocab um, in here. So you're able to, the kids are able to practice the vocab as they're playing the game. So what they would do is they would have to, if they want to put their little character here, they would have to say, oh, Tia, Tia is on in Spanish. So then they can put it in. So they're not able to pick the space unless they define the word or tell me what the picture is in Spanish. So that's kind of how I added uh, my content in it. And here as well, I did a conjugation one. So the kids have to conjugate these verbs. So I put the subject and I put the uh, the verb. And then here, because we're doing a preterite, they would have to say, yo comí. And then they can put um, their game piece there. Um, so again, and these are the game pieces. So they'll be able to drag it in there. Uh, and I'll show you how I added those. Another thing that I did is I made a board game. Um, that looks like this and um, so all of these things like these two things these are backgrounds so you see they can't touch that so these are all a backgrounds that I added um, so I've been making these backgrounds in Google Slides and then um, adding it to the game so here I just have them they're going to look at the questions for the game in the next slide which is this another background that I created and so as they play, um, they're going to go to this link here on the bottom. So they actually have to copy and paste this link. And here's a die. So then they would roll the die. It says five. And then, so then they would go to five. And then they would go, okay, five. To y pago blank mucho dinero, they're to tener, so they would conjugate it. If they get it right, um, they can say that. If they get it wrong, they have to go back to the beginning. Um, and again, here I put sticky notes so they can put the players. Um, and um, again, here that you could just play. And I'll show you how to make these. Okay, so let me just give you a run that. Okay, so the board game. Sorry, this one. <laughs> so many things open it's okay <laughs> so just to show you how I, I made the board game so the board game the first thing I did is I just looked up a um, picture on Google images of a board game um, you can just you know find you know, the board game. so I can just look it up board game templates So you can just look up for anything that you like. You know, maybe you want this one, or maybe um, you want to use, I don't know, this one. Okay, that doesn't look like a boring mess. <laughs> or this one, <laughs> or whatever it is uh, you want to use. Um, even like shoots and ladders you could use as well, snakes and ladders. That could be a board game you can use. Um, and then all you're going to do is you're going, here's the one I used. All you're going to do is you're going to right click, you can copy, and you are going to paste it into your slide. So that's all I did. I copy and paste it into a blank slide. And there I have my board game. And I actually ended up um, cropping this a little bit. To do that, you just double click and you just wait for the 
black frame to show up and then that's it so now like i said i wanted to add questions and initially my plan was to put the questions in here but there wasn't a lot of space for the content i wanted to add so i decided to just add uh, numbers so for this all i did is i inserted a text box so i went to insert text box put that there and i wrote one and i just kind of made it bold and i changed the font I just put in white um so yeah and that's all i did and then i copy or duplicated it Control d and then i just went through all the numbers so that's how i added that i have another one here but it's longer <laughs> this one took me a little longer because then i started doing like oh so many ways so many black but anyways i'll leave this here you guys can use it if you want um and i add it because i do teach spanish i wanted to have this in uh spanish to like start and finish um so to do that i'm not sure if you guys are aware of there's this um website um called text uh giraffe so if you go to textgiraffe.com and i'll put this a link to it on um at the bottom of my uh video that you can just enter for example, if I want the word start, just enter a word and it creates all these options of different cool designs. Um, so I can, all I do is I copy and pasted this into my uh, slide. So that's kind of how I added that. And then I just rotated it. Okay, so that's kind of how I made the game. And then I just set up a, you know, numbers one through 28, because that was the amount of spaces. And I added questions. Now for me, for my content is I wanted the kids to conjugate in the, in the, of the verb tenere. And I also want them to practice the vocab. So I just created sentences here. And then here I just add one sentence, just like, what is this? And then they have to be able to say it in Spanish. Um, so again, you can set this up with, uh, depending on your subject, like just social study questions or science questions and um, just different things that you're doing. Um, so that is how I created that. And then what I did is I added this as a background. Now to do that, I took a screenshot of it first. So I went to um, the snipping tool. So if you search the snipping tool in your computer, this is what shows up. Now on a Mac, you can also take a screenshot. I believe it's Control Shift 4. And then I just took a screenshot of the whole um, screen here. And then I saved it. Um, so I saved that screenshot into my computer. So I would just type like board game. Okay. And then when I go back to my Jamboard, I'm just going to create a new page. I um, can't remember if I mentioned this, but you can clear your frame by just doing that. And then I go to background. I go to browse. And then I just find my picture. And then that's it. And here's my game. Um, then to look for the pieces, I just search um, like board game pieces. Sorry, I'm saying what to click. It's very slow too. Um, and um, I actually did clip art. Super slow. <laughs> Um, and I ended up picking one here and removing the background. So to do that, I go to remove BG, this website. And then I take my uh, piece here and I'm just gonna drag it. You can also just copy and paste it in there. Oh my goodness, I keep clicking things here. Okay, I'll try that again. Sometimes it does that and the dragon doesn't work. So I end up just picking another one. Let's try this one. Okay. 
and there it is. And then when that's done, you're going to copy that image into your Jamboard. There you go. And then you can control V. And that's it. That's how you get my game piece. Um, you can also search images. Now, uh, before when I did that, I wasn't able to find the game pieces that I wanted. So I want them all to be consistent, similar. Um, but to find the, the dice, I did go here and I just press here just to have a picture of it. Um, and then I added uh, the link that I found for a dice. Um, and that's kind of how I did it. And then even like the question part um, that I showed you that I created for the game, I took a screenshot of it and I, I took a screenshot of it and then I just added it into the board game. And then this is how it, how it ended up looking like. These are just the sticky notes just for them to have their name. Um, and that's it. Now the same goes for the um, Connect 4 game templates. Um, I had this amongst, uh, Among Us one, and then I just added this kind of font um, to write what the content was about. I put this in Spanish. I'll give you guys also a template in English so you guys you know, can use it for English. Um, and then um, I just made one for Star Wars as well. And this is kind of very simple. I just looked up a background of Star Wars. I threw in the game here. Um, I also looked up a picture of the, for Star Wars and just wrote this here. Oh, and I got these guys too. I couldn't help myself. Um, and then when I added it to my Jamboard, so again, a screenshot, but I did one um, with the content that um, I'm using. And then all I did is I incorporated the, the characters. Sorry, I keep losing these things are. Um, same thing, I looked up R2D2 and I uh, removed the background um, of the R2D2 that I wanted. And all I did is just drag it. Now you can also save an image and then um, upload it as well if the dragon's not working for you. And uh, then all I did, oh here, I'll use my sample. I don't want to mess that one up. Um, and then all I did is control V. So I have my R2D2 there. And that's it. Now, um, because on the other one I needed more than one, all I did was control D and I duplicate it. Or you can go to the little icon here and duplicate it. You could do it that way too. Okay. So, so yeah, that's how I ended up uh, doing the little baby Yoda with that, um, with R2D2. And then I also made one for three players because um, some of my groups of kids are not even. So I figure, and I had a little Darth Vader there. Um, so yeah, so these are kind of some of the interactive activities that I've been doing. And um, they're really fun to make and um, the kids really like it. And um, again, I'll share this with you guys and you guys can use the templates. And uh, I'll also share the game board one that I made. And hopefully you guys can use it to just kind of create your own. Um, and I also do just kind of simple like um, initial activities in the beginning of class. Like I did a four corner one uh, for the kids to um, just kind of write um, what they, you know, what they did over the vacation. And um, this one here, they can describe um, different things uh, that they like um, out of these houses, which one they would prefer. Uh, you could also do uh, check-ins with them. So you can go um, and just see where they are in the mood meter, how they're feeling today. You could do, you know, on a scale of baby Yoda, how are you feeling today? So I could put sticky notes with the numbers. Um, and you could also just uh, use cool slides and just create um, cool backgrounds uh, or, you know, cool templates for your slides. Uh, so I just kind of been going around and looking at different things that I can use and then just using the uh, fun website to create um, like a creative text. So um, 
so that's it um i hope this is helpful guys and if you guys have any questions let me know and if you have any ideas or do you want to share things that you've been doing with it please do so um and uh please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want i also started a facebook group so feel free to join up with the link on the bottom i'll also put the link of the um uh, this text font page i'll put the one of the dice too if you guys want to use um and i'll add all these templates and i'll let you guys know um i keep posting stuff that I create um, as well. Uh, so just make sure you're checking my link tree because um, I might be adding more stuff as well. All right. Hope this is helpful and have a great day, guys.